I get back from a road trip or any trip in general, I always feel like something shifts within me. And that can be either spiritually or it could be a renewed outlook on life or a greater understanding and appreciation of self and others, an overall gratitude for life, and all the beauty found within every moment. The best thing about road trips for me aren't about what you plan or predict, but all those unexpected moments. Never in my life have I been this close to an alligator before. This is so crazy. Yo, I love that his tail just like wiggles back and forth. It's a little propeller. He doesn't even move his legs. He just wiggles his tail. So we're driving through New Orleans and we see this castle on the side of the road. We made it to Colorado. We're in Colorado, right? Yeah. And we're driving along and there's this huge, beautiful field of flowers. Bigger, I don't know what the names of these are. Like I'm in a road, it feels good. There's no cars coming, it's fantastic. Loving everything that we got now while we can. The air here is so fresh and beautiful and we're on a little path. Rachel told me about this really unique home and I'm so excited to see it. Oh my gosh! It's a whole art house. This is incredible. They totally just let us go inside the house and walk around and take videos. And he agreed to do a video interview with me. So I'm so excited. So we'll be back tomorrow. Everything is just so pretty here. Like, look at this. Oh, look! It's a little fire pit. This is truly a dream come true. So we just boiled some water with the jet boil for some tea. So I need you to open your cup. This is the first time I've ever had hot tea on a mountain outside watching the stars. Okay, I'm going to put it about steam. half. Come out tonight. Come out so the moon is tonight. literally coming up over the mountain. He's the only one who's bleeding to so come see the light. We are set free. So we made it to Kansas, Rachel's favorite state. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, what is your favorite thing about Kansas? Uh, the bugs on the windshield. If you want corn, not even to get it, but just to look at it, this is the state. Just stare at some corn for miles on miles, on miles, on miles, on miles, on miles. On this trip, I was truly reminded to not have a preconceived notion about a place, even if I've been before. It could be so easy for me to think, oh, well, I've already done the cross-country road trip thing, and I've already seen it all, I've been to every state, I know what's there, I know what to expect. And honestly, we haven't seen everything. We haven't experienced everything. We need to just remind ourselves to be open. I had to remind myself of this to allow myself to be surprised by parks and landscapes I never knew existed in certain areas. Like in Texas, I had no idea this was in Texas. We made it to Texas! It's like the Willow aesthetic where it dangles, but it's got, it's dry, it's like rosemary. So we just saw a wild turkey on the side of the road. That was really exciting. Our first animal sighting. And in Colorado, there's this giant sand dune. So it's just reminding ourselves that we haven't seen it all. And there's so much out there to be amazed by and just have wonder for life. So we drove about three hours from where we were staying in Colorado to the Great Sand Dunes National Park, which is so cool. I've never been to something like this before. Have you ever heard a voice that sounds like an old friend? Takes you right back to the place of like 
You can almost smell See how it kind of keeps going as like the floor is lava. Oh, it's melting. Like a Tennessee river in the morning takes your breath without a warning. Feels like home. Like smoke rising up from the mountains, all the beauty stuff. We drove out to this beautiful little pond area called Officer's Gulch. It's kind of starting to rain, so hopefully I can get some more drone shots here, but it's such a beautiful little area. This is such a beautiful place. It's just so beautiful having the fresh air and the water and the mountains in the distance. And we're passing by all these cute little flowers. It's just a dream come true. Like, look how majestic. Like, look at those mountains. I see gold in the air in the promise in the streams I see love in our hearts We're in Indiana right now. This is Indiana. You know, semi-trucks and traffic and construction and accidents. There it is. He turned his light. Here he goes. Alright, there's a guy in this truck. Oh god, that's too much. <laughs> like, he keeps getting out of the truck. He keeps getting out of his... All right, dude. You I should interview him for my vlog. Yeah. Here, I'll scoot up. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, sir. How do you feel? Oh, wait. Hi. How do you feel? You want to be interviewed for our vlog? We're bored. There's uh, too much uh, an accident over there. It's oh. an accident? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. How do you feel about it? You start with me. Can you take shoulder? Watch, 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 go. Yeah. 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 We're That's a movie camera? Yeah, yeah, we're making a video. We may as well. Here we are, right? <laughs> Enjoy your stroll. It says we'll, we'll arrive at 11.14. And when we stopped in this traffic, it said like 10.30. So we're adding some time on to our trip. So apparently I can fly my drone in this. I don't know. I what don't do you think? why not. Should I? Like we're literally just sitting in traffic <laughs> and not moving. I'm in park. You may as well. All right. So we about to get some drone action. This, this we're is gonna the controller. Know, <laughs> we're gonna know how far this traffic goes. Are our friends watching? Give us attention. Yes. How far does it go? Forever? Are we gonna be stuck here all night? <laughs> I can't really tell. It's so dark. Three or four hours. Yeah, Alright, bringing it back, hovering down. Yeah, it's hard to tell. <laughs> Update, we're moving. It's been forever. <clears throat> it feels like forever. The person at our hotel is gonna just give away our room. When it really comes down to it, as corny as this might sound, it's not about the big moments in life, but it's just a collection of the little beautiful unexpected moments that all add up into this beautiful life. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We're on the gondola, this is so exciting. We locked in, this is it, no one's gonna jump out. <laughs> it takes off. <laughs> Oh, how come to her?